Wilson opened a new movie house on Park Avenue. Built as the showcase for the finest in Negro entertainment, W.C. Handy Theater doubled as a venue for the leading R&B and jazz orchestras of the time. When they built the Handy, it was just really the place to go, and that's where a lot of the big bands came. Uh, Lionel Hampton, Count Basie, Nat King Cole, all the big bands came. So we had a chance to go to the go to the W.C. Handy Theater, and that was exciting for us. And then on Tuesday nights, I believe, they had an amateur night. Not long after the theater opened, Riley King hitchhiked from Indianola, Mississippi to Memphis. With little more than the clothes on his back and a $30 guitar, King found his way to the Orange Mound home of his cousin, blues great Bunker White. Soon, the man better known as B.B. King was electrifying crowds with his unique guitar style from the stage of the W.C. Handy Theater. Not all performers had to travel so far to play there. A few blocks away on Hamilton Street, a young Melrose trumpeteer began forming his own band when he was just 14. Within a few years, the Willie Mitchell Band was well known in the community and frequent performers on the handy stage. In 1959, Mitchell joined High Records where he produced 28 gold and platinum recordings for the likes of Ike and Tina Turner and Peoples and Al Green, among others, and is recognized as one of the creators of what became known around the world as the Memphis Sound. <laughs> 